Here are the last two examples that I have for this lesson on verifying trigonometric identities, and these things look brutal. You know why? Because I see tangent to the fourth, and I see cosine to the sixth, and sine cubed, and I'm sitting there going, holy cow, I don't even know what to do with those. Do we have any theories or identities that involve tangent to the fourth? I'm not so sure. So here's what we can do. We need to, first of all, work with the complicated side. I look at these two and I say, well, that's obviously the right, isn't it? The right side is the complicated side here. And what I notice is that both of those have tangent squared in it. So I'm going to start off by factoring the right-hand side. The left is still tangent to the fourth power of x. The right-hand side, if I pull tangent squared of x out, I'm left with secant squared of x minus 1, right? Why did I do that? Because now... I see squared, secant squared minus 1. That looks familiar, doesn't it? I know from previous problems, if you're doing this, you're probably at least decent at these by this time, that tangent squared x plus 1 is the same thing as secant squared of x. So what is secant squared minus 1? Well, if I subtract the 1 from both sides, it turns out that secant squared of x minus 1 is the same thing as tangent squared of x. So I can take this tangent squared and I can substitute it in up here for this parentheses. Tangent to the fourth of x is equal to tangent squared x times tangent squared x. Aha! And just like x squared times x squared is x to the fourth, tangent squared times tangent squared is tangent to the fourth. Well, that turned out to be not too bad, right? All right, so let's do the same thing on this side. We're thinking, all right, what can I do here? I've got sine cubed of x and cosine to the fourth of x. I've got a bunch, a lot of stuff on the right, don't I? All right, so the question is, what can I do? What can I do here? Well, I see this and I look at the right side and I say that's more complicated. In my mind, that's more complicated. Uh oh. We're going to have students come in, so I'm going to be quick about this. I look at this, I'm going to factor out cosine to the fourth. If I do that, I'm left with 1 minus cosine squared of x times the sine of x. Convenient, right? That those end up the same? 1 minus the cosine squared is the same thing as sine squared. I'm going in a hurry now. I apologize for the speed. And I can see here that I have sine squared times sine, which is sine cubed. I'm done with the proof, basically.